then everybody, welcome to the video and we're not having a, an opening corny music fest to start with, we're going straight into it, who remembers this game? Championship Manager 97-98, it was the follow on from Championship Manager 2 from the 96-97 season, uh, the very famous Championship Manager 2 of course, and um, this was the last of the Championship Manager 2 series. If you enjoy this game and you fancy having it on your Android phone, phone uh, you've come to the right place. Uh, this is some screenshots from the game itself, just to rejog your memory. Now, yes, you can get this using a DOS emulator on your mobile. Sedan so is better than that in the game, I can assure you. I don't know where that screenshot came from. But within this, I am going to show you. So the first step is to download the game onto your phone. I use FM Scout because it's a free download and it's a legal free download. It's called Abandonware, so it's free to download uh, from a website like this. FM Skate is probably the easiest place to get it. That's how it worked for me. Um, so you click on the link when you've Googled it, that'll bring you to this screen and you quite simply download now. It'll take five seconds for the download to start and then you'll see the little download icon come up in the top corner of your screen. When you've done that, you've got to click onto your downloads and unzip the file because it's a very small file it needs unzipping so the full file can come out so once you click on your downloads on your my files part you'll find uh, the cm9798 dos n rip dot zip you click that and what you will come to is the following screen select all and quite simply unzip so the full file will come out onto your phone in uh, within the CM9798 RIP and whatever else it's called, you'll see it now. There you go, the DOS N RIP file. Um, the 9798 game itself, it's outside of the file, but it doesn't start that way. You need to go in and move it into your download file. So from there, you'll be taken out of there and putting it into the main file, basically. So you go into your... your uh, CM9798 DOS and RIP file, click the 9798 and make and move it internal storage and then you will come to your download file. You have to scroll down for that and you'll see it here. You find a download file, click then and that will move the 9798 game file into your download folder which is where it has to stay. You have to keep it there no matter what and you'll find out why a little bit later on. So what you need next is a DOS emulator. This is what I got, DOSBox Turbo along with DOSBox Manager. You'll need both of them. Or if you can find a free one, DOSBox Turbo is a paid one, but it's only a couple of quid, like two quid something. Once you've got your DOSBox emulator, if you go with this one to play it safe, then click DOSBox Manager to open it up. And this is where all the magic stuff happens then, guys. So when you open your DOSBox Manager, you'll be confronted with this screen. It'll be one default DOSBox. Uh, you've got to press against that for a couple of seconds. Don't click it, otherwise you'll try opening it. You press against it and you'll get this. You'll get a little menu. And the first thing you need to do is go on Edit Config, which is where you set everything up so the game will work. When you edit that, you'll come to a screen like this. The first thing you need to click is what I've circled there, DOSBox Settings. And you've got a number of tasks to do inside DOSBox Settings. The first one is make sure you've got the right memory size. You just very simply, and it's all touch screen, nice and easy, simply click the memory size. And what you'll get is a menu like so. You've got to go to the very highest memory size you can use, click it, make sure the blue button comes up, and then you simply click off it, or you click the back button, and you'll go on to the DOS box settings again. Next thing you need to do is your frame skip. Now, don't ask me what any of these mean. These are just the things you need to do to make sure the game works and performs properly. When you come to frame skip, you click on the number two default. Keep it on the default. Most of these already be in these positions, but you want to just double check them all. The next thing you need to do is cycles. Once you click cycles, what you'll come to is the following. Click it to auto, so it defaults, so it runs automatically with your game. And then you simply press the back button and it will automatically save. You then need to do CPU core, which I've circled there as you'll see, and you will get the drop down menu 
again make sure it's on the dynamic so it goes on the faster CPU because this game isn't the fastest I'll be honest with you on the Android but this will make sure it's at the fastest it can be CPU type then as well got to make sure your CPU settings are good otherwise the game will run extremely slow and it'll be pointless basically what you want for CPU type is auto which again is the fastest option you can choose then you go back again and you scroll down You've got to scroll down until you come across this auto exec and this is the important bit what I'm going to recommend so you click on auto exec what I'm going to recommend is that at some point you pause this and this is where your pen and paper is going to come in handy so as you can see there I've already set it with what you need. This is how you need it to read. Because what you get is maint, cdouble.storage, emulated, zero, download, and then the cdouble dot. You need to enter everything that's below that underneath it yourself. So at some point, pause the video, write it down, or take a screenshot if that helps. Or if you're doing this on, um, if you're watching this on your laptop and performing everything on your phone, which is a good call, um, just do it that way. But I'm going to leave this for, the, for a little while just to give you time to make sure you can write this down. Um, uppercase, lowercase, all counts. So make sure you do it all correctly, exactly to this. This is the magic bit. This is the bit that makes the game work. So I'm just giving you a little bit more time to make sure you've got all that down. And then once you've entered that, you then go back to the initial default menu and then you go on to select input mode so that's basically your mouse touch screen mouse so basically the old game was just a, a drag around with the mouse this is happening touch screen which is even better an even better feature next thing is your mouse tracking which is just underneath it that will give you the following options make sure it's on absolute Again, don't know what the fuck that means, but either way, it, it's what makes the game work. Now you need to scroll down and find overlay buttons. I'll tell you what these are about now, just make sure that little blue tick is up. Button location. So this is basically to add your spacebar and your right click for your right click for the runs on your tactics, spacebar to make the, the, the match engine go quicker. So button location, make sure they're at the top. If they're at the bottom, they will interfere with your gameplay. So if they're at the top, they will not. So make sure that is an important one. Make sure they're clicked to the top. Then you want to button controller maps. So you want to make sure these magic buttons are usable within the game. So that's what this is going to do. You go down to add button mapping. You've got to basically add an A and a B. A, you just basically click on add button mapping and then that'll give you the option of choosing key code virtual A or key code virtual B. You just choose them as so, whichever one is easiest for you. Again, then you press into your default. Once you go back, rename your profile just so you don't get confused in future. As you can see, I've renamed mine CM9798. Type it in, click rename, and it will automatically do it, as you'll see very, very shortly. There we go. CM9798. I know I've covered it a bit, but you know what it, you know what it re reads? Anyway, now you just click it to open it. And what you'll be confronted with is, boom, the game is open. Just to point out, your button A and your button B I'm pointing to. So if you've set it like me, spacebar for button A and right click for button B, that's how you find them. And then if you need to type anything in, you use uh, the keyboard icon that I've circled. So like your name and then your triple dots for further keys. Thank you very much for that, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoy the game. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed. And as always, up the county.